right i'm i'm guessing there's a lot of uh people with questions matt who are we going with first you're on mute matt sorry right just going through now uh we're gonna go jonathan pinfield Kel, why is this fight so personal for you? And what's the biggest advantage you think you've got over Amir? I think, first of all, it's the respect. The respect there. You know, he's never given me and he's never acknowledged me as, you know, as a, as a, as a great fighter. He's never, he's never acknowledged me. You know, he's never, and we're, we're the same way, you know. I've always acknowledged him. You know, I think that he's... He's done great in his career, you know, doing what he's done. I've, you know, I've never, never dissed him in that way. And so that, you know, it's, it's, it's it, what it is to me. You know, it's, I'm competitive, you know, and, and when someone says that they can beat me, you know, and I, and I think otherwise, you know, I, I, I want to I show everyone that, you know, I'm the best. And I think that it's just dislike. I just don't like his face, basically. I don't like his face. I don't like his face, mate, honestly. And uh, I'm looking forward to uh, to getting this fight. I'm just looking forward to it now. All right, cheers. Next, we're going to go to... Uh, ben Thompson from Fight Hype. Ben, you on? No. All right, we'll move to uh, Robert Harding. Hi, Cal. Um, nice to see you looking so good out there. The weather looks a little bit better than over here. <laughs> Rob Harding from The Undisputed. Um, what strategy do you think Amir is going to bring to this fight and how are you going to combat that strategy? Uh, uh, you know, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just training for every, every different situation. You know, I think that a top level fighter does adapt, you know, he adapts, you know, you know, if I think that he's going to, if I think that he's going to go out a certain way, you know, and it doesn't go out that way. You know, some some fighters might fall to bits, but you know, I just adapt. And as long as I'm hundred percent, which I am, um, you know, I've I've got no problem. You know, my 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 worst my worst um, my worst my worst thing is, is is competing against myself. And I know that if I'm hundred percent, you know, it's I'm hard to be beat. You know, basically. And, I'm I'm gonna be turning up one hundred percent for this fight, you know. I'd be absolutely deluded by like nuts if I if I were. Do Do you think he's gonna come and run or meet your ring centre from the off? You know, I I think sometimes I think he's he might he might want to prove he might want to prove to the fans that you know that he can he can come in there and it, like he'd been saying he's deluded guy saying that he'd, he'd beat me with one hand before. You know, and and he's a, and I'm I'm a, I'm levels and levels below him. So if he thinks that, I'm thinking, is he going to come out and, and get and try and get rid of me and think that he can fight with me? And then some. And then sometimes I think, you know, he's going to get on his bike and, and start running about and make it a stinker and not want to fight. You know, so you know, I've I've got I've got I've gone over and I'll go over and over and over it in my head. You know, all right, this fight's going to pan out and. Every, t every time I've gone over it, you know, I just see one winner and that's me. Right, next on to uh, Boxing UK, Steve Bilton. Hi, Kel, it's Steve from Boxing UK. How you doing, mate? Hi, Kel. Kel, we've spoken quite a few times in regards to Amir Khan and you've always said that you've always wanted it and he's never wanted it. What do you think's changed now? I think he probably wants a big house in Dubai. I think he wants probably he probably wants a big house in Dubai, or his wife wants his wife wants something like mega, maybe. I just think that 
you know, he's blagged it that much. You know, in America, nobody wants to see him. And I think this is the biggest, this is the biggest money fight out there for him. Um, I think it's the biggest money fight. And I think maybe he might think that he's seen my last performance. He might think, you know, this the time's right for, for I'm the right for the taking, maybe. But he'd be absolutely so, so wrong. Good luck on the 19th, Cal. Yeah. Right, next we're going to go to Joey Mills, Bet Fred. Joey, there. I am, yeah. Hi, Cal. How you doing? Good, mate. Yeah, good. Thank you. So, um, you, what's your mindset going into this fight? Do you see it more as just proving that you're a better boxer than Amir Khan, or is there something more personal than that? I think. Sorry about that. Over there. I can hear you, but I can't see you. Can't see Cal. Have you got me? Not on video. Wait, someone tried for him. Let's try and. I don't know what's happened there. Um, can you hear me? We can hear. Can't see, but we can hear you. I'm gonna have to come back to that. Um, sorry, I've lost myself. What was the question again? Sorry. Um, so your mindset going into the fight, are you looking at it as just proving you're a better boxer than Amir Khan or is there something more personal at play for you? I think that I just want to prove that I'm a better, a better fighter than a better boxer, better fighter, you know, more hard. I'm just an all round, you know, competitive fighter, you know, and uh, I just want to, sh I want to show, show him, you know, because he is deluded, I want to show him that I am. I'm the man, what I'm saying I am, and I want I want the fans to witness it and see it, you know, and uh, I, just, I obviously want to get them, a, a, you know, a, a fabulous fight. That's great. Thank you, Cal. Good luck in the fight. Cheers. Cal, do you want to try and fix that video just so... Um... So I'm looking at the bottom of the screen, it says start video, we are cross through it, and when I click on it, it says you cannot start your video because the host has disabled it, okay? So, mm, okay. uh, I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to think. Part participants, thirty-one, maybe more. Never look at that. Uh, Says meeting settings, maybe. There you go. Can you do that now? Where meeting settings, and it says to trip. Can you try start the video again? What you were doing before? Right. Okay. Yeah, there that's we go. it. Yeah. We're back. Back in business. Right, so next we're going to go to Low Hanshaw. Hi, Kel. Um, so you were quoted um, recently as saying, I don't really think about losing, but if we have to bring that up, and even though I can't get that in my head that I am going to lose, but I would call it a draw. End of the boxing, gloves to be hung up. Does that take away reflect what the articles are saying like you are hinting at retirement because it could easily be taken out of context is that what you were hinting at or was that kind of taken out of context i think it would probably taken out of context um a fighter you know who's, who, who's used to winning you know never has losing in the mind you know i don't i don't think for, for a second about losing this fight you know I'm, every single day I'm growing in confidence just with the results I'm getting and what my coaches are saying, how, how I'm looking and everyone around me got a smile on their face because they can, they can feel and see the buzz and the excitement and the and my body taking shape and, you know, coming back to the, coming back between rounds and not breathing, you know, my, my fitness is coming there and the sharpness, the accuracy, the speed, everything's coming. So, you know, I'm, I'm not. I'm. I'm not thinking about retirement. I'm thinking about me and Khan on February 19th, and I'm thinking, I feel fantastic. I'm smiling. I'm happy, you know. And um, and that's what I'm thinking, you know. The, you know, the modules, you know, here again, and uh, I'm. I'm really enjoying training. I'm really enjoying the training session, believe it or not, and they are brutal. I'm really enjoying, you know, the the recovery, the 
I'm enjoying, you know, the people around me. You know, everyone's everyone's in in a good place because they're seeing that they're seeing me happy and they're seeing the results we're getting. All right, next we're going to go to Josh Shelley's. Hi, Kel, how are you doing? Thanks. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Yeah. yeah. Um, so with the fight taking place in Manchester, sort of on uh, Amir's home soil sort of thing, how do you think the crowd's going to affect the fight or affect your approach to it all? You know, this, I, I believe that, you know, it's a northern fight, you know, and... Um, no, I don't know. It's like I've been I've been in hostile crowd before. Many you know, many months ago I went to Scotland to fight for the British title against Kevin McIntyre and I think I you know, I've, they all wanted to try and kill me, you know, after I, after I beat him. I don't know if you can remember that fight. So, you know, I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm not too bothered. As long you know, as long if they're booing, if they're excited, you know, they're still there, they're still they're still gonna see the fight, you know. All I'm interested in is and Mia Khan, who's going to be opposite me, and I'm not interested in if they boo me or if they cheer me. You know, it's it's a fight, and then it, it's me and him in there. Thank you. Keith Fraser. Hi, Kel. Good to speak to you. Uh, looking forward to the fight, but I wanted to ask you. I mean. Many people for years have been saying you are probably best suited to light middleweight. And we all know that over the years, the shenanigans surrounding this fight have been around weight limits. Do you think that obviously weight could be a distinct advantage to Amir Khan in this fight? And also, when you consider this fight's been in the offing for years, we all like to see the best fighting the best when they are at their best. Is this fight really only about money? Absolutely not, not for me. You know, this is the fight that I've wanted for a long time, you know, and it's for one one reason or another, it's took this time for it to happen. But, you know, it's better late than never, as the teacher used to say to me when I used to be late for school. It's better late than never. And, um, you know, it's, it's, there's that much excitement in this fight. There's that much excitement for this fight. And, and regarding the way, that's why that we took ourselves away from the festive season, you know, Christmas away from them, away away from the celebrations and them rollers tins and then big and then big Christmas dinners. We were right here, we were right here, um, traveling the island on his on his bikes, doing night a mile, you know, Christmas Day, New Year's Day, you know, and my, my nutritionist Greg Marriott, he obviously knows me about it. He knows, he knows, he knows exactly where where we need to be regarding the way, you know, and I and I know that, you know, that there's not gonna be nothing past my lips what shouldn't be there, you know, because obviously I get it need, it needs to be right and everybody's happy where I am weight wise and you know and, 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 it, and it is what it is. The bottom line is I'm gonna be in there hundred percent at whatever weight is you know, my people have sorted that out. All I need to concentrate in is is getting in there and being hundred percent, which I will be. Best of luck for the fight, Kill. Ron Lewis. Kill, lovely to speak to you, mate. Um, uh, you've, you've obviously been the way of Fuerto Ventura a lot of times, you know, over the years. Is, is this one feel different? I mean, you're sort of approaching the fight as this, you know, win or lose, this might be your last big fight. Is, is, have you got, kind of been feeling those sort of emotions when you're out there? No, I just, uh, I've not been feeling their emotions. I've, it's strange, you know, because I'm, I am getting older and, you know, it should be getting harder, but I think it, with the experience, it's, you know, it's all in the mind. And I think that I'm really happy. You know, I think probably the weight and the fitness and, and, uh, and, and, the, and the guys around, around me are all happy. And, it's, you know, it's, it, it's a joy. It's a joy to be out here in the sunshine, away from the freezing cold where you are and, uh, and, and, and grafting, you know, and, and working hard. It's good for my body, you know, to be out here and be in the sun and, you know, to get, you know, get the heat behind me. It's, um, it's, been, it's been great. It's been great for me. That's it. Cool, Kel. See you when you're back, mate. Yes, mate. Kat Lucas. Hi, Kel. Hi. Hi. Um, Amir made a comment the other day. Um, 
talking about the lack of doping testing um and he said uh something like it would give me more peace of mind knowing it's a fair fight um what do you make of those comments and and i suppose why do you think he's he started saying that i don't know but i can gain peace of mind because the last couple of days i've been tested three times you know, i've been tested three times from from Bardo and yuka so you know i'm not i'm not the other end of the world in america i'm I'm four hours on a plane, you know, everybody knows where I am and how to get me, am I in Fort Ventura, you know, so, you know, I don't know. Obviously, I would have liked to have be, had, had more tests before. I see where you're coming from, but the bottom line is, you know, I've been, I've been tested and I'm available for, for testing at any, any, any given time. Cool. Thanks, Kel. Right, ben Thompson again. Ben, you there? Okay, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. I'm just wondering, uh, you know, both you guys faced Terrence Crawford. The fights end, uh, uh, ended a, a little differently for the two of you. Uh, what are your thoughts on Amir going to train with Terrence Crawford and getting help from him? And uh, I was just wondering, is, is there anything you could take away from Amir's fight with Terrence Crawford? You know, I think I was there, and I was there at that fight and, you know, he looked to me, you know, it, it, not that he looked to me, he quit in that fight. You know, he said that he got it low. You know, he, he quit, he quit in that fight. Um, my thoughts of Terence Crawford and him working together, you know, I've, I just think that, you know, Terence Crawford would tell him, you know, telling him straight to his face that he quit. You know, his trainer would tell him that he would quit and they were just giving him nothing but grief, you know, before and after the fight. And, and now that they're all, pretending to be friends and everything. It's just, you know, it, it is what it is at the end of the day, you know. He's never worked with, you know, Terence Crawford's trainer. He doesn't know nothing about Amir Khan, about how he reacts in certain, you know, in training. He doesn't, he doesn't know when to lay off the gas, when to push him, you know. So if he thinks that's best for him, Amir Khan, then, then, then all good for him. But with my experience and my relationship with Dominic Ingle, who's, basically brought me up from 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 TV age and knows just by one look in my eyes uh, in training what you know what 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 I'm, what I'm about we've got that connection you know that we know each other inside out so you know on on, on that score I think that you know if, if he if it is what it is you know that's that's his trainer that's who's training him to to prepare for to fight me you know, um, thinking that it's, it's going to do something to me that, you know, that Terence Crawford beat me. You know, Terence Crawford beat me because his pound for pound number in, in the top three is, is, is such a gifted talent, talent you know, and um, it's nothing to do with the trainer, you know, because you can you can look at me, you can look at guys, what I've been through, the Ingle gym, um, what I've put more, probably as much work as me and not, not won a central area title. And then you and then you get me who's gone in gone in there and won, won a world title. So you know it's down to the talent. It's down to the man. It's down to the man, and and, that, and that's what I said to that. All right, let's go to Ben Davies. Uh, hi, Kel. I just wanted to quickly ask you um, what I've seen comments saying that you're more dedicated than ever in training. Um, I just wanted to ask you, what do you feel is the biggest change you've made since you kind of fought Spence and Golovkin? I think just maturity and experience and trial and error, trial and error in fights and knowing my body and knowing myself, get, you know, the experience and, and uh, just the mental approach, I think, has improved unbelievably. And, you know, I know what it takes. I know what it takes to, to be where I want to be, so... It's 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 more of a mental thing, you know, more of a mental thing that I've I've grown I've grown into, you know, how I am today. Cool. Thanks, Kel. Good luck. Hi, Kel. Um, lovely to see you. It's Gareth. <clears throat> um, if you if this is a, a quick fight and you get Amir out of there with very little damage and uh, everything goes swimmingly for you, what are the chances that you might call out Conor Ben for a fight? 
there's a great chance of it. There's a great chance of it. Uh, it's, it is, you know, because I'm, what else would I be doing? You know, I'm enjoying the game. I'm enjoying the game. I'm enjoying it. I've not really been in them dog walls, you know. I've still got my faculty. I'm still sharp. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Am I there? Yeah. Yeah. I'm still, I'm, I'm still sharp, and you know, who knows? You know, I'll, I'll probably sit down with my family and just, and just, and and see, you know, because I, I have done it all. But I, what they know about me and what I know about myself is I love a challenge. I love it when Conor Ben, I love it when Keith Thurman, um, Danny Garcia, all these fighters are saying that they're better than me, you know, because I don't, it don't register to me. I always, uh, you know, I love that competitiveness. I love. I love to go out there and, and, and to prove to, to the boxing fans what are so interested in the game, what love the game so much. You know, just another great fight, you know, and that's, that I'm that guy. So, you know, um, who knows, you know, let, 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 let's see what happens in this fight. Um, but I'm, I'm definitely not ruling out that, that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to carry on. Can I just add to that very quickly? Do you think if this fight goes beyond four rounds that it becomes your fight? It goes before four or after four. I think it's my fight. <laughs> I really do. Um, I really do. But that's why these questions are getting asked because nobody's seen this fight yet. Everyone's so interested about the way the rounds, what who's got all, what left. And that's why people are going to turn up and watch this fight because nobody can... Everyone's so excited. Everyone's curious of how this fight's going to pan out, and uh, and I'm I'm just excited because I know what it, for myself or how I'm feeling, how I'm performing, and what I'm going to get back to the fans on February 19th. Right, we're going to go to John Denon. John, you there? Yeah. Okay. How's it going? Right. Yeah. How? Can I ask a bit more about the weight and you know why you wanted this fight at 149 pounds and who you think that advantage is? To be honest with you, um, to be honest with you, you know, all this kind of, you know, I leave it to my management team. It's not something I really want to get involved with, to be honest with you, talking about all these weights and stuff like that. You know, it's, it is what it is. This fight has been made. You know, this fight has been made. You know, I've never, ever missed weight in all my career. You know, I've never ever missed weight. I've never had to take my box shows off. I've always made weight. And, you know, this, I don't really want to get into the weight situation. You know, my management team and my people have said that all I need to really concentrate on is being 100%, sticking to what I need to do. And, and at this current moment and all the way through up to this fight is going to be absolutely to a T bang on. And I'm going to be firing on every single one of my cylinders. Excellent. Well, cheers, Cal. Best luck in the for the fight. Looking forward to it. Are we going to go to Nick Purewell next? Nick, you there? Uh, yeah. Um, hi, Cal. Um, so, can I just say, so you, you, you trained on Christmas Day then, is that right? And then also, um, just on um, the fight, the fact that this um, the fight hasn't happened before, do you think that's uh, because he was maybe maybe scare's not the right word, but maybe he was aware of what would happen if you do fight, because obviously, like you said, you're confident that you'll you'll wrap this one up. You know, who knows? It's what I, I, believe, I believe so. You know, I, I think in my own mind that he he probably thinks that I'm not the fighter I was and he thinks that I'm ready for the taking in his mind, which, you know, which is, just makes me smile like because I know what I know what I've got left. I know, and you know, I won't. I won't get. I won't want to be involved in a fight where, you know, all I'm going to be known as in this fight is, is the Mia Khan and Cal Book fight. Forget what I've done before. You know, I won't sign up to this. Forget the money. I won't sign up for this fight if I thought for one second that I was going to go in just for money and lose this fight. It's not worth it. It's not worth it for me. So I really believe in me art, and I know for a fact that I'm going to go in there and I'm going to, I'm going to get him. I'm gonna beat this man. I want it more than him. I want it more than him. This this is personal to me. I want this bad. You know, I'm, I'm not I'm not I'm not this I'm not in here to make the number though. I'm in there to, to to get this win. I'm in there to you know to you know to to the ice on the cake for myself. You know to put it all at rest. This is the one for me. You know, this 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 is this is real. 
Right, we're going to go to Sam Johnson now. Sam, you up? Mm. Uh, I, I didn't have a question. Don't worry, I didn't have my hand up, I don't think. So on to the next person, thanks. Cal, you mentioned a few minutes ago a bit about your school days. Some people are arguing that Amir Khan's got better boxing skills than you, but what do you think the chances are of you actually taking Amir to school, outboxing him and winning the bout on points? You know, if, if it goes if it goes all the way, it goes all the way, you know, but I've got I've got a, I've got a great boxing brain. You know, I'm always think, you know, I'm always setting traps i'm always thinking i'm mean, next move you know i'm I, you know I'm, I'm i believe that i'm a better boxer than him i do believe i'm a better boxer than him so you know i, I believe that whatever he brings there that I, you know i'll have an answer for i really do right Devinda johal Hey, Cal. Hey. Uh, just, uh, just a quick question. Well, quick couple of questions from me. So, first of all, you fought obviously Golovkin, Terence Crawford, Errol Spence, and now you're fighting Amir Khan, and this is a grudge match. So, is it is it a different mentality knowing it's a grudge match because you've been against like some consider the pound for pound number one in the world with Terence Crawford? So because you're going in with this I can't lose mentality, is it a different kind of mindset from you because you you just don't like the bloke? Um you know, I, I just I just treat this like, you know, like it's like a it's a world title fight for me. It's a bit it's a big massive fight, you know, because it's, it's, it's absolutely everything on the line for this fight, bragging right. And that's that's personal to me, bragging right for the year of me saying that I'm a better fighter, the year of him saying that. I'm a lot lower lower level than him, and he can beat me one hand. And uh, you know, I think that it's it's right up there. It's right up there with it, up there with the with the best fighters, with the, with the Porters, the the Crawfords, the, the you know these fighters. What you've mentioned, I'd have to put it up there in them same brackets, just because of the the fans and the the attention what's around it and the and the needle what's involved with it. I think you've got to put it on that bracket. And just very finally for me as well, can you see um, a world when you guys can actually shake hands and, and, and be friends? Do you think once it's all said and done or is it all animosity? It's all animosity on my, on my side, you know, and I think it is from him. You know, I think that, we, you know, there's no love lost. We don't like each other. You know, when it, this, this, isn't, this, isn't, um, this, isn't, this, this isn't just a hype, but this, this is real, this is absolutely, this is, real as it comes. I don't like him. I don't like him. He doesn't like me. And I want to punch him hard. Lori. Hi, Kel. Um, forgot to mention earlier, I'm the US correspondent for Behind the Gloves. Um, I wanted to ask you because this fight has been years in the making. And so the buildup hasn't really started with you know, the promotion, it's really dating years back. So we're now four weeks away from your fight, exactly a month away um, in, in Manchester. What's it going to mean for you if at the end of this fight, your hand is raised, your name is called? This, I can't really put into words the way it'll mean to me. It means everything because... You know, this is all I've known. This sport, this is this is a sport I, I absolutely adore and love. You know, it's a love here. You know, but I do I, I do love the sport, and it's 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 the thing what I'm so passionate about. And for the years and years of the build up and it not happening, and now it is happening, and everybody's split, and then finally when the fight and the result is is mine, the feeling is just going to be is indescribable. Basically, it's indescribable. It means everything to me, this, this one. 
by Jerry Mills. Um, so you were quoted as saying um, that Floyd Mayweather is looking at facing the winner of this fight. I was just wondering, how would you feel about potentially meeting Floyd Mayweather in the ring? You know, a bit. You know, it's, it's massive, you know, that, you know, people are saying he's the best ever. You know, he's, he's best in, in our era in the sport. Well, I think we all recognise that. And like I said, I'm in this sport. Before I tie them gold up, I want to really see how good I am with the best best out there, whoever the, the best is. And, you know, to finally, from a nine-year-old kid who walked into the, to the gym and wouldn't know his left foot from his right hand, would be in everywhere with Brendan Ingle. And, you know, for years of, the years of uh, knowledge through the sport and then finally get into fight, you know, the best pound for pound fighter in the world. You know, some some people said ever, you know, it, it, it'd be just, it'd just be so real for me or overwhelming, you know, that, that I've, you know, come from, you know, just come from a council, council state area, walked into the Brennan Eagle gym when my dad took me and just um, evolved into a fighter what's, you know, what's matched for the best fighter in, in our era. It'd be, you know, it's can't really put into words, can you really what, you know, to, to get to that level. That's great. Thank you, Kel. All right, so Oan Abbas Hussain. You're on mute, mate. Mute. Still on mute. Still on mute, mate. You might be having some technical issues. Okay, it's uh, Robert Harding. You there? Yeah, I am. Yeah, sorry about that. Kel, you're obviously in great condition already. You're just over four and a half weeks out from the fight. Is there anything you can tell us about the sparring that you've done and who you've been sparring with, number of rounds, etc.? Um, yeah, you know, I think that I've been getting some. It's been it's been great, you know, from the start. I've been, um, I've been sparring with Bradley Ski. I've been sparring with uh, a guy from Scotland, uh, John John Thane. Um, I've been sparring an Olympian uh, who's you know in Grankin area, who, uh, who my old my old trainer bro over in Carlos in U is Hugo from from Monaco, who's only twenty three year old, who, who's, a, who's a very good talent, you know, who's, uh, who's been Obviously, he was really, uh, really eye open. We did really well in the Olympics, so he's got very fast hands. He's tall, he's ranging, his speed. And then this week, I've been, uh, I've been sparring with uh, Troy Williams, and I think mostly our guys will have seen his his fight we achievement. You know, he, you know this guy's, you know, he's, you know, you'd, you'd, you'd probably want to, you'd, you'd want to, you'd want to pay to see our squad what we've been having this week. <laughs> believe you me. You know, because he's he's very heavy and crash bang wallet. But like I said, I've, I've I've had speed. You know, I've also been involved in them in them. You know, someone coming forward who, who, who like I said, he's obviously his confidence is really high. Tries, and um, we're having really competitive sport. Is it? You know, it's you know. So, like I said, I'm I'm doing unbelievable in, in sparring. You know, unbelievable in sparring, unbelievable in training. I'm very pleased with myself. I'm very good, pleased. good, good. That's the important thing. Stay healthy and good luck on the night. Cheers, Cal. If uh, anybody's got any more questions, we'll get the last few and just raise your hand uh, so that we know that it's you that wants to ask a question. Um, All right, so let's try Owen again. Owen, can you you on the line? Hi, Cal. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Okay, Cal, firstly, just want to talk about the ticket sales. Um, tickets flew, man. They, they went so quick, and there's a massive backlog of people waiting for possible tickets. Um, I've been thrown about on, on that black grey market. But what do you make of ticket sales? Um, talk to me about them because the hype is real. Yeah, the hype is real, and it, it just puts a smile on my face that, you know, with it, I believe that if it's, if it's rightly saying this, it was the fastest, you know, fastest. Um, 
boxing show, maybe, I don't know if it's Manchester or in Britain, that it fell out in like seven minutes flat, you know, quick time, you know, and even to this day, I'm still getting people pestering me about, can I get older any tickets, you know, but, you know, I, I just, obviously, I want to thank, I want to thank the new, the new man, the new sheriff in town, Ben Shalon and Sky Sports for obviously making this happen. And, uh, you know, and, 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 and getting this fight across the line because we've got the mega fight that we all, we all, we've all been wanting to see and me to do. Just a final, just a final one for myself. Um, Dev actually spoke about it just then, but you spoke about this being as big a fight as the big fights that you've had in your, in your, in your career. But in regards to satisfaction, if you beat Amir Khan in February, how close is it to that night in 2014 in, in Carson when you picked up that world title? That's a good question. I think that, I don't know. I think it's obviously that when it's, your, when, it's your, when it's your first world title where you've gone across overseas to an America or against a guy who were, 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 that were saying that were, were the next Mike Tyson, you know, and, um, and beat him in his own backyard and everybody, you know, you know, didn't think that I had a prayer in that fight winning it and it being a close fight, you know, being a close fight and, and still at the end of the fight, not knowing and then hearing and the new, you know, that feeling, that feeling is going to live with for forever. And that is going to be hard to beat. But I'll tell you something, this, this, this win, this fight, I can feel it being close to it. I can see it. I can feel it being close to it. Just even though that I know and believe that I'm going to be in, you know, hundred percent, and I, I do, I do for for every fight, for port and fight as well. But when once the you know that once the results there, and you know that the world is still in the ring, and the sweat pouring off me, and, and I know that I've got the victory, like that feeling is just going to be going to be like I'm in orbit. Right, let's go to Sky's Adam Smith. Adam, you on the line? Hi there. Am I on mute or not? Live and kicking. Oh, now you're on mute. Now you're on mute, yeah. Hang on a minute. Here we go. How about that? Um, Kel, good to see you. Um, we've been obviously through many, many years of, of this and waiting for this moment. Um, what I want to know is obviously Brendan is not with us anymore, um, but he would have studied Amir uh, and you developing into becoming world champions. What did he tell you about beating Amir Khan back then over the years? You know, I think that, Adam, I think back then it weren't really, it wasn't, it wasn't like, it wasn't, it was still talked about, but it wasn't like, it wasn't as legit it is now, you know, so it weren't ever, it weren't ever, uh, it weren't ever a sit down and look at me deep in the eyes and explain it like Nadley or boxing Kevin Keller. When when Nazari were fighting, um, you name them, them fights what they were involved with with Brendan. It were more of Brendan just looking at me and just saying that, listen, listen, Kel, what you've got to do is get in there and just be the best you can be. And when you're the best you can be, no man will beat you. No man will beat you. That's what he'll say. And uh, Obviously, I would, I'd, I'd love him to be and have a conversation about the, you know, to the preparation for this fight. But I'm sure that he'll be watching down on February night. And are you pleased to be back with Dominic for this? Because surely that was the only way. I am very pleased to be back with Dominic Kingle because Dominic Kingle, you know, has, uh, has seen me and, and like you, you also when I were a little whippersnapper in that gym, you know, nine year old, and they see me go up through the rankings, being there winning the world title. And it means it means everything to me, but it's also gonna mean everything to him. You know, I'm I'm his boy, I'm his fire. He's been through he's been through his ups and his downs with me. And um, it's gonna be a great feeling looking, you know, looking over to him, you know, saying we've done it, we've done it down. You know, we've done it, we've done it and we've done it together. Thanks, Cal. Right, let's go to Nick Kerwell. Hi, Kel. Um, just um, like you said, um, you don't think that after when this is all said and done, you'd be able to sort of shake hands and put the animosity aside. I just wonder, 
from your side of things, is that because you don't think that Amir has been genuine about, um, you know, about the, 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 the problems that you've had, as, as, you know, between the two of you? Is that how you'd see it? You don't think he's been genuine about what's gone on over the years? Yeah, I, I just I just think that you know he puts things out there in the media like and he like it puts it all on me, and he knows we both know that it's never been me, ever been me. But that you know that that's just that's another story. All 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 I'm excited and happy about that we are fighting each other. You know, forget being friends, forget forget all that. You know, it's about it's about giving back to the fans. They're gonna see a mega mega showdown. Because I know that he's training extremely hard. You know that I'm training extremely hard, and 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 the ingredient as well. What what you've got to put in there is just the the years and the the, the years and this and the spark between us and, and what it means to both of us. It means absolutely everything to him as well, and that just builds into um, into a super fight. And um, and the, and 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 there's one benefit. There's one people benefiting there. What and not going to be in that thing, and that's the fans out there who are going to watch that fight. It's, it's definitely fireworks in this fight. Make no mistake. Right, let's go, to Alex Roberts. Hi, Kel. Hope you're doing well, mate. Um, earlier this week, uh, Eddie Hearn indicated that out of you and Ami Akani are probably best, better place to actually continue your career beyond this fight. For you, is this? about getting one over Amir or proving you've got, you still got what it takes to compete at the highest level? Well, this, this, this is just, this is just to, to prove to Amir and to the, to the world who are watching this fight that I'm the better fighter. You know, that's why, you know, it's, it's just another fight for me that it's more than another fight because it's, you know, it's personal, but it's just, to, it's just another fight that I'm going to be, you know, competing against and and, uh, and it's I, I love a challenge. I love love a challenge. And when people, when I hear people on on on, me, on social media, you know, messaging me saying that you know Khan's going to beat me. Some say you know, some say I'm going to win. You know, and and that's what that's what put the smile on my face. So I know that everyone and their dogs super excited about it. Most of them can't split us, and uh, and I, I know I'll be able to just taste the atmosphere in there when uh, when everyone's gasping when that first bell goes. All right, we're going to go to Ryan Elliott now. Ryan, you're on the line. Hi, Kel. Thanks for joining us. Uh, just a quick question from me. Uh, obviously, the news has just came out and started circulating about the rematch clause in place for this fight. Could you tell us a bit about that? Is it only in place for if you win this fight? To be honest with you, I know, I know that, you know, like, I'll be honest with you, that I leave it to my, you know, to my manager, my dad, and to my team. You know, all I all I'm interested in is this fight, this fight, and I I do I do know that you know I do do know that there's there's going to be a rematch in that. You know, if 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 Amir Khan wants to wants that, you know, wants another beat, that, you know, he can have one. Right, we we'll just go to Jonathan. Kel, you've told us a few times that you don't like Amir and you think that he doesn't like you. Can Amir gain your respect in the ring on the night? That'll be down to him. You know, we are deluded here. I don't, I don't know, but I'm, I'm sure that he will. I'm sure that he must have. He must have when he, when he realises what I'm about when he's in that square circle. And he's, he's, got, he's, got a, he's got a register. He's got to register that that respect. He's got, he's, you know, he's, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna definitely have to give it, man. All right, I think that wraps it. Um, thank you everyone for attending. Kel, thank you for taking the time out answering all the questions. Um, I'm sure we'll get more opportunities to speak to you over the next few weeks. Have a good time in camp. Work hard, and we'll see you on fight night. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Thanks.